you guys, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are here for the very first time, do hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday mornings at 6 a.m. Central and you don't want to miss out on anything new. Okay, so in this installment of Style Reboot, it's at number we're at number nine, so you really have to go step by step by step by step by step. Highly recommend that you follow the order. If you missed any, you can go back. Um, I created a playlist called Style Reboot, so you can easily find the other videos. So in number nine, I wanna talk about closet organization. I've talked a lot about closet organization in the past, over the years. I will put links to those videos below if you want more, there's plenty more. This will be a recap in a lot of ways of things I've already talked about about, but um, with some new things peppered in there, um, new ideas and new tools that you might be able to use to help you with your closet organization. Okay, so let's get started with closet organization tips. The first tip is to have matching hangers. Matching hangers is a little bit of an investment. You have to pay for the hangers, obviously. I'm gonna put links below to my recommendations to make it easy for you guys. Um, the recommendations will be from Amazon, so if you have the Prime membership, you don't have to pay for the shipping, which is a big deal, especially when you're talking about something as heavy as hangers, and you're like, well, how many do I buy? I don't know how many to buy. I always kind of guesstimate um, 100 hangers for about three feet of full hanging space, so um, if you're looking at your closet and you're like, oh, this rod looks like it's about six feet and it's really jammed um, and I'm not gonna edit it anymore, then I would do 200 hangers for that space um, and you'll have more than enough. So the hangers that I like are the clear plastic ones just like you have in the store. I like my closet to look as boutique-like as possible and this is what every boutique likes, use what every boutique uses. So I like the swivel head so no matter what direction you hang your garment, you can have them all facing the same way by just adjusting the head. Um, there's nothing more annoying than putting a, a shirt on a hanger and then wanting it to go face one direction and then you have to take the shirt back off and put it back on. So the swivel head's a must. And then I think they're really thin. I don't care if I break them because you know you don't pay a lot for them. And they have this to catch the garment so it doesn't slip off, which is nice. I mean, are there times where your, your garment is too wide for the hanger? It doesn't quite stay on the hanger, absolutely. Um, and that's why some people prefer the velvet non-slip ones. Um, but I stick with these. I'll put a link to the velvet non-slip ones below too if you prefer those. Um, but these are my favorite. And then you can also waterfall with these hangers. So if you have a really small closet space, you put this through here. Like let's say you wanna do three sets of pants, you know, all in a row to save on that closet real estate. You can waterfall them like that, or if you've got a suit and you wanna do the suit together, you can do that. Um, and then I use this type for pants and for skirts, and, um, and this type for shirts and for dresses. Number two is you're gonna sort by type, and that can be whatever categories you want, whatever makes it easier for you. The key is to be able to find things quickly, easily, not labor over it, not wonder where it is, not search for it, not waste time searching for it. The key to your closet is to save you time and money. When it looks like your very own little boutique and you're organized, it will save you time and money. So if you sort by type, then you can say, huh, I need a cami today and I know exactly beeline for the camis. I need a short sleeve top today and I know exactly where to look for that. I need a pair of jeans today. I know exactly where to go for my jeans. You need to have the types sorted out and you can decide how specific you wanna get with types. For me, I have a bigger closet, I have a lot of clothes, so I do sleeveless, short sleeve, long sleeve. You may wanna do sleeveless, short sleeve, three quarter sleeve, long sleeve, you know, whatever works best for you. I also do jackets, I do blazers, I do shorts, I do skirts, and then I put jeans in my drawers. Um, trousers, really nice trousers I hang up, but if they can be folded, I fold them. So you're gonna determine based on your closet space and based on your preferences and based on your lifestyle, which categories, which types you want to delineate and organize your closet into. Then once you have your type sorted out, so you've got your hangers, your types, then you wanna sort by color. So you say to yourself, hmm, I really need a black blouse today and I really want a black short sleeve blouse. You go to your section with the short sleeve tops, you pull out your black, you look in the black section and you know, okay, I have this option, this option, and this option. It's very, very quick and easy. So that's why it's so important to sort by color. Now, whether you go dark to light, like the KonMari method, or whether you go light to dark, whether you do some other crazy color system, it's totally up to you. I like 
light to dark. I like to do the rainbow because I like to see the red and the orange and the yellow and the green and the blue. Plus it's easy for me to remember. So just come up with a system that works best for you. And if you're like, well, wait a minute, this is printed and patterned and it's kind of crazy and it's a mix of red and a mix of pink and I don't know where to put it, just put it somewhere. You know, don't like sweat those little details. Like just, just get it in there, have it all look aesthetically nice, have it all sorted by color and type, and you're good. And those are the three primary things you need to focus on with organizing your closet. I wanna get a little bit more into the nuances of organizing. So let's say handbags, for example. You're always like, oh, what do I do with these handbags, right? So for me, I do shelf dividers on the shelf and I do have built-in shelving. So that works really easily for me, the shelf dividers, and I put the bags in a, in a slot, in a slot, in a slot, in a slot on the shelf, okay? There are also handbag shapers. If you're, if you're worried about keeping the shape of your handbags, you can put in these shapers inside, or you could just do tissue paper. It's a lot cheaper, a lot easier. Um, you also could put dust covers over your bags for maybe the more expensive bags. However, then you may forget like it's there, although if you're like me and you only have like one or two expensive bags, you're not gonna forget that they're there. <laughs> But if you have a whole bunch of them, you may forget, so you may not want to do the disc cover um, simply because you want to see the bags. You could do the, the shelf dividers for your handbags, but you could also do bins. There are really lovely bins, linen bins. You could do baskets where you could put your handbags in bins. And I'm going to link you to all of the options below, so don't worry about it. Um, I got you covered, it's all, it's like Amazon, Target, and Container Store links below, and then I'll put them over on the blog also. So that's one of the ways that you can, organ two of the ways you can organize your handbags. What about boots? You're like, ah, those tall boots, they always elude me, I don't know what to do with them. Well, there are, real, there are racks where you can hang your boots upside down and keep them all organized that way. You can, somebody, one of you guys told me about this, you could put pool noodles in your boots to keep the shape. There are also boot shapers available at Container Store, believe it or not, um, and they're pretty inexpensive. I found some even even less expensive plastic options at on Amazon. Um, I'll put that link below as well. And then, you know, how you organize them in your closet is up to you, whether you have built-in shelving, whether you need to get a shoe rack. I did put a recommendation below for a shoe rack that I think is very easy to assemble and also looks aesthetically nice because there's nothing worse than having some crappy shoe rack in your closet. You want your, you want your closet to look nice and that's the whole idea. We want it to look like a boutique. We want it to be this little oasis. So you don't want to throw in a crappy shoe rack that's going to break down, um, in a year or be a nightmare to put together. So there's a very specific shoe rack that I recommend. I put it below. Um, it's not expensive at all. So don't worry about that. You know, if you have a closet with lots of shelving up high, it's going to be important for you to have a foldable footstool. Um, so you might want to think about investing in one of those. Also, you don't want to ignore your drawers. So your sock drawer, your underwear drawer, your bra drawer, you know, you've got t-shirts in a drawer, you've got jeans in a drawer, whatever you have in your drawer, you want to keep your drawers looking nice as well. You want to still color code the drawers. I color code jeans. Yep, it's a little OCD, but I do it because I'll put light jeans in one row, uh, white jeans in one row, light blue jeans in another row, dark blue jeans in another row, black jeans in another row. Um, I'll even sort by like, is this cropped? Is this flared? Is this skinny? So you could really get more specific and detailed depending on how many you have, depending on how um, important it is to you. And then for your underwear and your socks, you can use those dividers. They're really affordable. It really, it's a game changer for those drawers. Um, and it makes it a lot simpler for you to find. Because again, with your underwear, you do go for s certain pairs on certain days. Like you need a thong for a certain outfit, or you need nude underwear for a certain outfit for light pants, light skirt, light jeans. You want black because you're wearing a black skirt. So having those dividers just makes it again a little bit more seamless, a little bit easier, a little bit more efficient. So the dividers are great to have. Oh, and then I just did want to talk a little bit about jewelry, how to organize your jewelry. So I am of the mind that you have to have things on display to know that they're there. If you tuck them away and they're hidden and they're behind the scenes, then it's harder to know that you have them, you forget about them and you don't use them and you don't wear them. So I kind of put all my jewelry on this 
display in my closet and I use bracelet bars, they're called T-bars. I use the high T-bar for long necklaces. Um, I like the necklace stands for necklaces, like big necklaces so that I can display them and see them very clearly. I use little ring stands for rings. I'll put some recommendations below so um, you guys can check those out if you're interested. Lastly, just wanted to mention, I did find a couple of really cool scarf organizers. They're hanging, so you would hang them in your closet. And then also belt. Um, there's the option of you know screwing it into the wall or the option of hanging it. So you're like, what do I do with all my belts? You can just hang them up right along you know side your trousers or you can get the one that screws into the wall maybe attach it to the wall and have it organized that way depending on your closet space so those are some of the tricks and tips for keeping your closet really organized again this is such a vital important part of your overall style and your overall sanity you know when your closet is nice aesthetically pleasing organized again saving you time and money saving you the stress and the heartache of, ha of not being able to find things it's just it's a game changer it's really worthwhile it's really worth investing the time to make it look pretty boutique like let me know if you guys have any questions at all again i'm going to put everything below i'm going to put everything over on the blog it's going to be nice and neat for you guys over there so if you're like oh what did she say again about I don't know. I, I just didn't know what she was talking about. She was talking so fast because I think I was talking fast. It's over on the blog too, busbystyle.com, so you can go check it out over there. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Give a thumbs up to the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.